Hey, rock lovers, look at this. Look at this agate I have here. Pick this up at my local Gem and Mineral Society. Not sure what kind of agate it is. You can see lots of chalcedony, a little bit of banding there. Some green color on it. Not sure what that's all about. Anyway, I thought this would be a good candidate for my cut and tumble series. So let's take this one into the shop and cut it in half, take a look on the inside, and then tumble both sides. I'm not sure how to cut this, maybe lengthwise, maybe across here, I don't know. Make that decision once I get in front of the saw. Hopefully, it'll be beautiful on the inside and ultimately make two beautiful polished stones. Let's get cutting. Let's use this 10 inch saw and just split this sucker in half. Now, what will we find on the inside? Will it have some cool features, some color, some banding? Let's see. Ooh, well, that's kind of interesting. Our rock has been cut, and that's kind of interesting looking. What do you think? Do you think these will make good tumble pieces? I believe they will. Let's get this wet, just see what it looks like in here. Give us an idea of what it's going to look like polished. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty. Lots of chalcedony, a little bit of banding. What do you think? So let me get these rolling in a barrel, get them nice and smooth in the 6090 coarse grit. Then I'll show you what they look like before I move them on to the polishing stages in the vibratory tumbler. After several months of tumbling, this is what's left of our little greenish agate after we cut it and tumbled it in the coarse grid. I like the way these turned out. They're small, but there's some interesting detail and banding in these, especially this one here. I think this will turn out good if this section here polishes nicely, and I hope that it will. It's got that, what I believe is quartz in there with some banding. Yeah, I think that'll look nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing started in the vibratory tumbler, go for eight days, use four different grits, and then when that's all said and done, I'll bring it back in here and we'll take a closer look. Well, our mystery agate, that sort of greenish agate, turned out like this once it got cut and tumbled. What do you think? Let's take a closer look here. This is the smaller half, of course. Not a whole lot to look at on this side. A nice pretty chunk of chalcedony, I suppose. Maybe a little bit of banding in there, and there's that, that green popping up again. I'm not sure what that's all about. The other half offers a little bit more, I think, including this side, which I, I like a lot. You see it has the banding around there and the crystal. That's pretty cool. More of that weird greenness on there. Yeah, that's some big fractures. I know, I know, I see it, but I wasn't gonna continue grinding this thing. It was already small enough. As you can see, it took a great polish. Overall, I'm very happy with this cut and tumble. Don't remember how these went together. <laughs> At this point, there's just no telling. These have been grinding for a long time to get them like this. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.